Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and hi Today we continue our lesson in subtopic Lagrange Multiplier In this subtopic, we try to find the extremum point and extremum value or we call maximum or minimum of the function based on its function and the constraint The method of the Lagrange multiplier suppose f x y and g x y are differentiable, and then z f x y has an extremum subject to the constraint g x y equal to zero. Then to find the extremum value, proceed as follows. Step one. Form a new function using the Lagrange multiplier. F x y lambda equal to f x y plus or minus lambda times g x y. We write f in capital letter to express the new function. This new function is combination the function and the constraint. The optional to use Symbol plus or minus to combine the constraint. Step two, find the first partial derivative with respect to x, y, and lambda. That means find f sub x, f sub y, and f sub lambda. Step three, determine the critical point x, y, lambda by solving the simultaneous equation. When f sub x equal to zero, f sub y equal to zero, and f sub lambda equal to zero, the maximum or minimum point is we write x y lambda, and maximum or minimum value is we substitute the value of x and y in the function at that point. Now we discuss example three. Find the minimum value for the function f x y equal to five x squared plus six y squared minus x y, and subject to the constraint x plus two y equal to twenty four. That means g x y equal to x plus two y minus twenty four. To solve this question. First, or step one, form a new function using the Lagrange multiplier. We write f capital letter x, y, and lambda equal to the function is five x squared plus six y squared minus x y, and we always write plus. Lambda times the constraint is x plus two y minus twenty four, and we expand five x squared plus six y squared minus x y plus lambda x plus two lambda y minus twenty four lambda, and then step two find the First, partial derivative f sub x equal to ten x minus y plus lambda, and f sub y equal to twelve y minus x plus two lambda, and f sub lambda. That means differentiate with respect to lambda x. Plus two y minus twenty four. Next step three. To find the critical point, f sub x equal to zero, f sub y equal to zero, and f sub lambda equal to zero. That means ten x minus y plus lambda. 
equal to 0 is equation 1. And 12y minus x plus 2 lambda equal to 0 is equation 2. And x plus 2y minus 24 equal to 0 is equation 3. Now, we focus equation 1 and equation 2. Now, we try to eliminate the value of lambda. That means, equation 1 times 2. And, to process the simultaneous equation, equation 1 minus equation 2. Next, from equation 1, equation 1 times 2 equal to 20x minus 2y plus 2 lambda equal to 0 and equation 2 negative x plus 12y plus 2 lambda equal to 0 we put sign negative or minus 20x minus minus x is 21x minus 14y equal to 0. We write equation 4. Now, compare equation 3 and equation 4 to eliminate the value of y. That means equation 3 times 7 plus equation 4. From equation 3 times 7 is 7x plus 14y minus 168 is equal to 0. Plus, equation 4, 21x minus 14y equal to 0. 7x plus 21x is 28x. Y is 0 equal to 168. Therefore, x equal to 6. Now, substitute x equal to 6 in equation 3. From equation 3, x is 6 6 plus 2y equal to 24 2y equal to 18 and y equal to 9 next substitute x equal to 6 y equal to 9 in equation 1 from equation 1 60 minus 9 plus lambda equal to 0. Therefore, lambda is equal to negative 51. And you write the conclusion. Therefore, the minimum point is x, y and lambda 6, 9 and negative 51 and the last step you should find the minimum value that means the minimum value of the function is f and Substitute the value of x and y, 6 and 9, equal to 5 times 6 squared plus 6 times 9 squared minus 6 times 9, equal to 612. Okay. For the next example, the question is applied in economic and business. Example 4, the question is a company 
produce X unit of radio and Y units of TV. The profit function is given by pi xy equal to 60x plus 80y minus x squared minus y squared. If the company has fixed the D output level for both products at 40 units, how many units of each type of the product should be produced to maximize the profit? To solve this question, first write the profit function. 60x plus 80y minus x squared minus y squared and the constraint x plus y equal to 40. That's mean g or subject to the constraint x plus y minus 40. Now, step 1. Form a new function using the Lagrange multiplier. You write f x y lambda equal to the function 60x plus 80y minus x squared minus y squared plus lambda times the constraint x plus y minus 40. And we open the bracket 60x plus 80y minus x squared minus y squared plus lambda x plus lambda y minus 40 lambda. Next, for step 2, find the first order partial derivative f sub x. Differentiate with respect to x. 60 minus 2x plus lambda. And f sub y equal to 80 minus 2y plus lambda. And differentiate with respect to lambda is x plus y minus 40. Next, step 3. To find the critical point, f sub x equal to 0, f sub y equal to 0, and f sub lambda equal to 0. So, 60 minus 2x plus lambda equal to 0, we write equation 1, 80 minus 2y plus lambda equal to 0, equation 2, and x plus y minus 40 equal to 0 is equation 3. Now, we fo focus in at equation 1 and equation 2. We try to eliminate the lambda. Therefore, equation 1 minus equation 2. Equation 1, 60 minus 2x plus Lambda equal to 0 minus 80 minus 2y plus lambda equal to 0. 60 minus 80 is negative 20. Minus 2x minus minus plus 2y lambda minus lambda is 0 equal to 0. And we simplify this equation. Negative 2x plus 2y equal to 20. And negative x plus y equal to 10. We write as equation 4. Now, compare equation 3 and equation 4. Equation 3 plus equation 4. Equation 3, x plus y minus 40 equal to 0. Equation 4, negative x plus y 
minus 10 equal to 0 plus x minus x is 0 y plus y is 2y equal to 50 and y equal to 25 Next, when y equal to 25, substitute y equal to 25 in equation 3. From equation 3, x plus y, that means x plus 25 equal to 40 and x equal to 15. Next, substitute x equal to 15, y equal to 25 in equation 1. From equation 1, 60 minus 30 plus lambda equal to 0 and lambda equal to negative 30. Next, we write the conclusion. Therefore, the maximum point is x, y and lambda. 15, 25, negative 30. And the maximum value, the maximum value is Substitute in pi. X, 15 and Y, 25. Equal to 60 times 15 plus 80 times 25 minus 15 squared minus 25 squared. Equal to 2050 To answer the question how many units of each type of product should be produced to maximize the profit therefore to maximize the profit maximize the profit the company should produce fifteen units of TV sorry of radio and twenty five units of TV and the Maximum profit is two thousand and fifty ringgit. Okay, that's all. At the end of this subtopic, you should try to solve this question carefully. Okay, good luck and bye.